so good morning good afternoon and good evening guys based on the time zones you all are coming from so guys before we start with the session can you all please give me a quick confirmation if you all can see my screen and here below on clear as well you can all use the questions tab to give me a quick confirmation guys if you all can see my screen and here below on clear as well Perfect. Thank you for the confirmation, everyone. So before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself to you all first. So my name is Neeraj Kheria, and I have been working in this IT industry for more than 13 years now. So before we get started, let me quickly share a Eureka Masterclass community with you all as well. So this community of Masterclasses was started back in 2019, and since then we have been closing into almost 30,000 members so far and in these master classes we conduct multiple webinars and live events on different topics including blockchain iot artificial intelligence machine learning and multiple front-end and back-end development technologies and to be a part of this group we can click on join this group and then we will be notified with the entire schedule that has been planned for the month so the main Agenda for today's session, we are going to focus on how Tableau Platform is structured in helping us in visualizing the data set that we have the access to as a part of solving different problem statements. So, first of all, we are going to discuss on the concepts of data visualization. Then, we are going to discuss on what exactly Tableau is, why we need to do Tableau, and then we are going to discuss on how we can set up the Tableau online platform, along with discussion on Tableau desktop as well. So Tableau is one of the most popular tools. So we can see the so we, in terms of data visualization market, we have only two main platforms, Power BI and Tableau. And Tableau is one of the most popular use platform for visualizing data set as a part of business intelligence. And it helps the customers to work on data wrangling as well. Data wrangling as in working on data pre-processing to remove any kind of anomalies, outliers, and garbage values from the data set. In terms of Tableau online, so in Tableau, it currently is offered as in different versions. We have Tableau desktop and then we have Tableau online. So in order to work on Tableau, we can sign up for a free Tableau desktop public version that is available for free as a community edition where we don't need to go for any kind of licensing or we can go for Tableau online as well. So Tableau online is basically a powerful way for organizations to build, share and collaborate around data analysis. So just like we have Power BI services available in terms of the online platform, same way we have Tableau online as well, so that we can visualize, we can create reports from the online platform itself without setting up any kind of desktop versions. So in Tableau offline, first of all, we can skip the setup time and the hardware cost. So because here we are getting the entire platform as a in the entire solution as a software as a service. And then we have to, whenever we have a requirement to work on the questions, for example, the same concept is also applicable in Power BI as well. So if you we want to ask questions which is related to the analysis that we have done in this platform, then we can get that because that is available to us by default from the from scratch itself. And then here we also get multiple AI driven explanation for our insights, which was earlier available only in Power BI, but now it has also been introduced in Tableau platform as well, where we can find the answers to and we can visualize data set by using its own machine learning algorithm. And using Tableau online, we can interact and edit and author projects on the web as well. You don't have any kind of desktop version dependencies. And then we have multiple securities by default. So we can find what kind of access a single report is going to have in terms of different profiles, including the interactor, viewer, editor or any custom view that we want to generate. And if you talk about Tableau Online, and Tableau Online is basically a cloud-hosted SaaS platform for data visualization and the business intelligence as well. And it simply allows us to build, share, and collaborate multiple data visualization as a part of our, business, as a part of our BI project. Now, first of all, if we are going to plan on the on any project, first of all, we have to know where our, exactly our data set is hosted. For example, in Tableau, we can connect to multiple data sources. For example, we have data stored in a database. We have a local file. We have we are going to import data from any other third party solutions. For example, Google Analytics, Facebook Analytics or Adobe Analytics platform or some other th or some data warehouse itself. So we have to first of all pinpoint where our data is hosted 
and who is going to use it and how exactly they are going to use it as a part of setting up the site and then we have to work on setting up the permissions as well we have to simply define how we want to get connected and then only we have to plug in data set and once we have plugged in the, data, uh, the available data set then we have to work on optimizing the performance of that particular report that we have generated so first of all let's see in how we can set that up so for registering on tableau online we can navigate to this link here so here we have online.tableau.com so here using this link we can either sign up for a new account in case we don't have the account yet or we can sign up for a or if we can simply log in with the account that we may have already deployed so when we are working for a company we, are, we would be getting the enterprise edition and there we are where we have to use the account credentials to log into online platform offered by tableau just like we have for power bi and let's say if you want to work on tableau online for the first time we can also sign up right here we have the tableau online desktop version so not the desktop but again the online version so for the first time we can click on sign up because the public desktop is offered as a free platform but again the online platform is offered on a free trial that we can use for a period of two weeks so here we can simply sign up and we can define the credentials and once we define the credentials we would be able to sign up on the website so let's do one thing once we have got the access we are going to log into the portal let's do that just a moment so once we have successfully installed and set up the tableau platform and here we can simply click on once we sign up then we will be getting an, an activation link in our inbox and we have to activate the account first and then once we activate the account then we would be getting the access to tableau online so here we can enter the email address that we may have used we can click on sign in so this is going to simply open up the platform for us so we can work on both the on any type of account here for example here we can work on the desktop or we can work on the online mode as well depending upon the requirement let's it seems we may have forgotten our password so let's recover that just a moment so now we have successfully set the password so now we can log in so in the meantime let me showcase you how the platform for tableau looks like in terms of the public desktop version so we can compare both how the desktop version looks like and how the online edition looks like so basically this is a public desktop versions that we are looking at and here we can see in the left sidebar we have the options to connect to any particular data source so what kind of data source we are going to get connected to that, that depends upon us let's say here we want us to here we have a local csv or excel file we have the data stored on any kind of database we have data stored in on a data warehouse or from any third party applications we can integrate that easily into tableau let's say we have a local file available with us so here we can choose microsoft excel let's say here we want to use this global superstore so here we can use a data set and whatever is available in this excel file that is going to be loaded first and then if you want we can transform it as well as and when required and we can see we have two sheets currently available like we have orders and people so let's say here if we double click on orders we can see the list of all the entire sheet having the entire data set available to us so we can see we have in this file we have row id we have order order date shipment date customer id customer name the shipment postal code state country that means we have the entire piece of information we need as a part of doing the analysis and now in order to get started we can click on sheets so here we have sheet section so here we are going to get the canvas and in the left sidebar we can see all the pointers all the columns that we have in the given sheet that we have currently imported and then in this section we can simply use all the filters all the pages based on the data pointers selected and on this canvas we can see the entire report that we are going to create and in the right sidebar we can see different type of visualizations are available that we can choose from depending upon the data type selected so that is what we can define here so in order to work on creating any kind of report we can simply choose the data pointer first for example here we have now let's say here we want to showcase the relationship between the profits and the years that means we want to visualize how the profit has been distributed among different years 
and for that we can first of all bring profit and we can drag it in the row section so we can see by default the entire profit has been shown and now we want to vision and now we want to plot this against the year that means the the year the date the date and the month on which these of profits were recorded so for that we have the shipment date right or we have the order date so let's say if we want to visualize this based on order date so here we can simply drag and drop this in terms of columns and we can see the report has been a simple graph has been selected based on the data pointer that we have chosen which is currently predicting the which is simply showcasing the profit distribution in terms of years so you can see in 2012 what was the profit and same way in 2015 what was the profit and so on we can see the entire distribution here and if you want to segregate this further for example let's say here we want to visualize how exactly the profit has been in terms of different quarters so we can see currently in the year segment we have a plus sign so this is going to be available when we have more than year data available based on the data set that we have chosen so here we can click on plus and now we can see the entire report has been further bifurcated in terms of different years and the quarters altogether right so you can see here we have the entire report being generated in terms of years so how much profit has been recorded in which year uh, as part of the data set and now if you want to segregate if you want to bifurcate this further for example let's say we want to dive deeper in terms of the actual performance of the of the company in terms of profit generation on a year by on a month by month basis so again we can buy further with we can further segregate this based on month as well right and now let's say we don't want to visualize we don't want to use this kind of graph we want to use a single graph where the entire report should be given for different months and we can and we should be seeing different years as a part of different legends as in different graphs here so what we can do we can simply now we don't mean we don't need to use the year data so we can simply click on remove so here we are going to remove data pointers based on year and here we have quarters and then we have the month right let's say here we want to see the report for month itself and now we want that we want to showcase we want to simply see the report of year as a part of different graphs being generated here right so for that what we can do we can simply let's say we want to remove quarter we can remove quarter and now instead of year being showcased here as two different graphs as four different graphs what we can do we can simply drag and drop here in the color section so this is going to be shown as a legend on in the same graph so as you can see here now we have a single graph but now different years have been projected with different lines in a single graph altogether so now we are going to have a better insight of how the profit has been distributed and among different months and that too in different years and we can see here earlier we were seeing as a complete steep graph but now we can see from this trend we are generally observing a downfall in the profits from june to july because this may be our off season this may be the season that we are not getting such so much of business and we can see the best performing year has been which one 2015 itself where we were recorded the highest amount of profit and that in september so that's how we can load data set and that's how we can create a report read a visual based on the pointers that we have chosen and then we can further bifurcate that we can further divide this in for example we want to work on the year by year ratio we want to perform different type of analysis we don't want line graph we want different type of graphs available here then we can easily do that by using the custom visuals available on right so based on the data pointers that we have selected we have the option of going for bar graphs the tree maps the pie chart the area chart so based on the type of visual we want and that is suitable for the current data pointers selected or for solving the current problem statement that we are working on and if you want to have different type of reports being for example we have a requirement of creating different type of reports for example let's say we want to create a report in terms of the if we have geospatial data if we have different type of data then we can choose different type of visualization as part of the requirement and we can create multiple different like we can create different type of reports as in when required so let's say here we want to work on different reports so here we can simply click on sheet 2 and here we can choose the type of visualization that we want to create for example let's say here we want to define the report for the quantity quantity and the segment in of example quantity and subcategory that means what is the 
quantity ordered for different subcategories here. So here we can define that. And let's, as you can see, here, the default bar graph has been displayed. If you want to shift this to suppose a tree map, so here we can shift this to tree map. We can simply switch this to the graph as well. So to get a better insight of okay, how different segments have been distributed, we can choose the type, the right type of graph as and when required, depending upon the on the data point is chosen. Same way here we want to now here we want to have a, a, visual, a simple visual created out of the geospatial data. For example, we can create a new sheet and uh, let's say here we want to see the distribution of profit and that too in terms of the countries or we can the city define here. So here we can define city and then based on that we can apply any kind of filter we want. For example, we want to apply other filters for a proper visualization then we can define that part or we can simply switch to the map here so this is going to take a while and then this is going to be plotted on the map itself because again this is going to make more sense when we're using a map because this itself is a geospatial based data set all right and let's say once we are done generating the reports here then we can uh, as again as we discussed we can create multiple data pointers in terms of legends as well and let's say if you want to generate a report out of it so here we can click on file and here if you want we can simply publish this to the tableau public platform in order to share this with anyone else or we can create a report out of it as well depending upon the requirement let's say if you want to work on changing or we can say performing any kind of operations on the given data set and we can do that easily by going back to the data pointers so here we can go back to the data source and now if you want to modify something here we want to work on these data pointers and we can easily do that so and again if you want to set up multiple relationship we want to send the relationship between different tables that we may have imported then we can define this by using this query editor so just like we have query editor available in power bs same way here we can perform the changes on the imported data set all right so i guess since it is almost time now so let's say we wrap it up for today guys thank you so much for joining and have a great day ahead take care bye bye